Hey everybody, my name is Keith. I'm with 2A Cops, Cops Supporting Gun Rights. In this episode, we're going to do a review of three different silencers from uh, Dead Air. We're going to do the Sandman K, the Sandman S, and the Sandman L. And we're going to look at what is the best silencer for the weapon that you might have in a CQB environment. <laughs> All right, so when I go online, I, I look at people talking about dead air silencers and which one should they get? Should they get the, the K, the S, or the L? Um, it really depends on what your uh, function is for that silencer. It depends on the rifle that you have. So what we did is we came out to beautiful Parma, Idaho, and we're gonna go over all the different silencers and we're gonna put them on different weapons. We're gonna check the decibel ratings so that way you can determine which is the best one for you. When companies look at decibel ratings, sometimes they uh, they don't always look at it in an environment that you might be using it in. So here uh, we've got this structure set up. It's got four walls around it. It does reverberate some of that noise back into you. It doesn't have a roof. It doesn't have solid walls top to bottom. So it's not true like a home, but it's better than testing out in the open air. Uh, so we've brought out, uh, as an example here is, the weapon that I use uh, pretty regularly, it's a PWS Mark 111. It's piston driven. It's got a Sandman K on it. Um, I like it. It's still a little bit loud. We're going to run it through this house uh, and then we're going to run it with a, a Sandman S and a Sandman L. So we're going to run through uh, all these different ones. I also brought out a, a Mark 18. Uh, that one is gas impingement and it, has, it, it blows a lot of gas and that thing is loud. So we're gonna put all the different silencers on it so that way we can look at how that works within an environment like this. What we're gonna look at is we're not gonna look just look at the decibel, decibel rating, but we're gonna look at how maneuverable that particular firearm is when you come through a structure. Because ultimately, what you're gonna to have to take into, effect, into account is not just the decibel rating, but you're gonna to have to look at uh, the maneuverability of that particular weapon system within a closed environment. And so that way it can help you choose what's a better silencer for you and for your particular weapon. All right, so first up is a PWS Mark 111. Uh, we've got the Sandman K on it. We are in a somewhat enclosed room. Uh, it just doesn't have a roof and the walls don't go all the way down, but it reverberates pretty good. So let's see how it works on the first one. We'll see what the decibel rating is. 115.8. 115.8. All right, let's try the Sandman S. Okay, back with the Mark 111. This time we're with the S. A little bit longer, just a tad. A uh, little bit extra weight. But let's see what the decibel rating is. 113.8. 113.8. And what was the first one? 115.8, so not oh, significant. Oh, dude, that's it. Okay, so next up is the L. This is the longest one, and I gotta tell you, just putting it on, it makes it too long, and it's too heavy. Uh, I mean, come on, you know, weight isn't that big of a deal until you're sitting on a perimeter for a long time at the low ready as a react team or something like that, then it becomes a pain. But uh, I can tell you right now, I don't like it. I don't care how much decibel difference it is. It's probably not something I'm gonna run with, but let's check out what the decibel reading is. 99.9. 99.9, it's definitely hearing safe. But I gotta tell you, really heavy, really long. Okay, next up is a Mark 18. Uh, I put the K on it. It is a really gassy gun, but it's gas impingement, not piston. Let's see what kind of a difference it is. See if it has a difference on the decibel rating. 115.0. So this one up, we're gonna go ahead and do the Sandman S. This is the one in the middle on a Mark 18. Uh, I was surprised there really wasn't that much of a difference between the piston gun and the gas impingement gun. Uh, but let's see how much of a difference there is with the uh, S model. 109, so that one dropped quite a bit. 109. Because the last one time it went 115 to 113. Next up was the Sandman L. This is the biggest one, I gotta tell you. Uh, a lot of people say that the Sandman L is good on shorter rifles or pistols because uh, it takes up more. But I got to tell you, uh, it is long and it is heavy. I don't feel comfortable. Uh, I don't want to say I don't feel comfortable. I can clear a house with it. It's just more cumbersome than if I had the K. I'd rather give up the decibels uh, 
to have a little bit more maneuverability. But let's see what it looks like with the L. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. Bonus round for those of you with AK forty-seven. So we've got a seven-inch AK topped off with the Wolverine. So let's just do it for shits and giggles and see what happens. Ow! <laughs> One sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> The case hit me right in the head. Where are you at? So looking at uh, the Dead Air Sandman series, if you're gonna do any kind of CQB work, uh, any kind of like shooting in a house or something like that, by far the K is the best between maneuverability and sound reduction, I'd definitely go with the K model. Uh, just a little bit of my background, I did do SWAT for 20 years. I've been out of the game for a long time. Uh, I've been retired for a little while now. But I have held all positions. I mean, I went from uh, entry man to breacher to point man to um, leaving as the sniper team leader. And uh, I may be rusty on my skills, but entries are still entries for the most part. Uh, and I got to tell you, the Sandman K coupled with that 11 inch uh, barrel really made a difference. Uh, the sound reduction wasn't that much between the K and the S. So I'll give up that few little decibels of. Uh, sound uh, so that way I have more maneuverability. The L for any kind of CQB stuff, we we didn't show it but we actually brought a 7 inch AR and then did a little bit of stuff with a 7 inch AR and that's where people say that's where the L shines. Man that doesn't shine, that shit's too long. Um, it's just way too long for anything that we're doing. So I'd go between the K and the S, I'd save the L for something else, um, whatever you desire. Uh, this isn't, we're not talking about like open ground, like running and gunning through a forest. We're just talking about just inside of a structure and what the difference is. Uh, I hope this helps. Um, hopefully it helps you determine which one you want to purchase. We do want to thank Boise Black Rifle for supporting us. They're supplying us with ammo during this hard times and other equipment. So we do appreciate it. Uh, that's all we got for now. Make sure you subscribe, follow us, and uh, don't forget to catch us on social media and sign up for our newsletter. Take care. Have a great week.